Hello, today I'm going to be filming a video all about halls of residence or halls um, at like UK universities. Um, I'm going to compare living on campus to off campus because I've lived in both. Um, I hope you find this video helpful. Obviously I will be talking about examples from my uni but I will try and make it as general as possible just so it's like helpful. Um, so yeah, please like and subscribe if you like this video. I've got so many university related videos so I'll leave a playlist linked up here or is it up here? I can't remember, but I'll leave it linked down below at the end of the video as well. But yeah, let's get started. Bar to bar, there is, there is kind of two lots of halls on campus. There's gardens and lakeside. Lakeside is like kind of towards the bottom of campus. Like if you've been there, you probably know what I mean. Like when you drive up the drive, that's like the first lot you'll see. And that is where I stayed in my first year of uni. Um, and then if you go towards the other end of campus where the SU and stuff is, that's where your gardens whose residents are um so yeah i'll start with lakeside obviously that's where i lived <laughs> um so i lived in sydney yeah um these are the only ensuite halls in the lakeside area the rest of them are all kind of like shared bathrooms and stuff um so yeah it was ensuite and there was 12 people in my flat including me which i know is quite a lot of people most halls that i've heard of usually have about between like six and eight people but yeah, there was 12 in my flat, although one person did leave like January time. And then there was like a few people which I didn't really see that, see that much anyway. So it more, most of the time it felt about eight or nine. Um, yeah, so where Sydney was, it was very close to um, Commons, which is like quite a big building at Bar Spa, which has like a very big lecture hall in it. And like all the sort of film and TV students are kind of based there. Uh, um, lots of like my course is education now. So pretty much all my lectures are in there um yeah so it's quite a central hub like if you want to go to student services that is in commons as well um so yeah it's literally behind commons so it's really um close to your lectures <laughs> uh, it's also really close to a bus stop so it's about not even a two minute walk you just kind of walk outside of sydney go across like a little green bit or you can go around a slightly longer way like around by the bus like by the bike shelter outside of commons and then there's like the the first bus stop at the bottom of campus and then there's like another one by the library um so yeah in that sense it's really good so i'm going to talk about the pros and cons of living on campus let's start with the pros you know we'll start with some positivity <laughs> so my first like big pro of living in lakeside or in sydney um was the big room um my room in sydney was definitely bigger than my room here at home i had a single bed in but you could have easily fit in a double bed um I have got like a um, room tour of that room. I know a lot of people still watch that now. So yeah, I'll leave that linked below as well. Um, but yeah, it was really big. Um, I had a massive desk in it. I could fit like my makeup one side, my work stuff another side, and then like just ran stuff here. So it was basically like the length of a whole wall. Um, and then the window like sort of overlooked the lake, which is, a which is another pro as well. I really liked having a really pretty view. Um, yeah, so, and then obviously you kind of walked in, it had like three wardrobes as well, which was really good for me, because like, I like my clothes, um, so, yeah, that was definitely a bonus, um, and the ensuite was pretty big as well, so yeah, as I said, it was really big, you like, I feel like you definitely got your money's worth there, down is the pretty view, as I said, where it's called lakeside, you're obviously overlooking the lake, depending on what side of the building your room is on, I know other people in my flat, they, their rooms are like the other side of the corridor, so they kind of overlook the car park instead, so I was quite lucky in the sense I got to look at the lake. next pro is that it was really quiet um where bar spa campus is it's kind of like it's basically almost in the middle of the countryside so it's only about a 20 minute bus ride to the um like main city center but the actual campus is very kind of remote and rural so when you're on campus especially like a weekend and stuff it was so quiet like you never really heard other people going out that much um and obviously where my side was i was overlooking the lake so there's no road noise or anything like that the next helps you get to know the campus better, there we go. Um, I think definitely one of the biggest pluses of just living on campus halls generally is that, like, because you're living there, you get to know your surroundings way more quicker. Um, I feel like when I lived there, I kind of got to know my way around the campus within about a week, um, which is, I think, quite a nice thing. Um, so, yeah, especially, like, where my halls were, obviously, I was so close to the main building. And then the other stuff you kind of just work out as you go along with like going to freshers fairs and like especially in your first year you get so many events like on campus which kind of help you show the ropes a little bit um and then my last pro is it was very close to the bus stop as i said 
it was less than a two minute walk to the bus stop so when you're going on a night out or you just want to go into town really easy to get to although it was weird in the winter um so when you're kind of coming onto campus the bus stop that was obviously opposite the one near my halls like they wouldn't let you get off there like in the mornings it was mainly to stop traffic and sort of at night time as well around like four between like four and like seven i think it was like they wouldn't stop at the bottom bus stop um just so cars and stuff could go past because it's like single traffic kind of um so yeah that was kind of annoying when you're coming back onto campus at that time of day or like going off or whatever but um yeah and also with being the bu bottom bus stop if everyone got on at the library before uh, and you would try to get on say around three four o'clock when lectures were finished um you usually wouldn't be able to get on the bus or if you were you'd kind of be standing so yeah you kind of get to know that once you're at your uni or whatever but yeah i would just say be very careful of timings and what bus stops you're getting on to um if you're at campus uni i'm gonna go on to the cons <laughs> um so the first one the shower was awful i'm not going to sugarcoat this um i know i was obviously very lucky to have an ensuite um halls i know a lot of people don't have that option um but yeah like you know when you go to a <laughs> swimming pool you kind of have a shower which like you basically press the button on the wall and that is your shower that was what my shower was in halls um so you could adjust the temperature it only stayed on probably about 10 20 seconds if that um so yeah it wasn't great like i mean you got used to it but it wasn't ideal oh, i thought that was a dog then <laughs> the kitchen often broke yeah so because lakeside is is much older than the garden styles of halls uh, the kitchen broke a lot <laughs> because lakeside was definitely built before the gardens halls were at the beginning at the top of campus so our appliances were really old really outdated um there was one point where the ceiling started leaking from the kitchen above us so yeah there was just water all on top of the fridge the fridge has leaked as well um uh, the taps got blocked towards the end of like the last year, like the last semester, <laughs> like so it was really bad. Basically, one of them got so blocked that I I basically opened the cupboard underneath it, and there was just all this like disgusting water coming out of it. I was like, that's not right. So we rang maintenance, and <laughs> he was like, oh yeah, you guys need to stop putting oil down here, like because things were just getting stuck. We're like, okay, that's noted for next time. So yeah, obviously that sink got fixed, and then the sink on the other side of the kitchen, because obviously where I was in a kitchen of twelve people, we basically had two sinks either end of the kitchen um so yeah sort of half the um sort of half my flat used one half the kitchen and the half used another half of it um so yeah so basically when that sink got fixed the other one broke as well because of the same sort of reason and then the people who came to fix that one they basically poured whatever was stuck in that sink down the working sink so there was about a week of there was probably like two weeks left of term if that and both sinks basically didn't drain any water. It was just like a nightmare. We would like we just get us out of it. <laughs> yeah, as I said, because just the like the halls were just so old and so many people lived there, there was things that were breaking and stuff. And like, I remember the shelves in the fridge would just like fall out and things would just break on the floor. So yeah, that wasn't great. <laughs> Next one is that it's so this is I think this is a very general kind of thing about living on halls on campus, but it was so quiet at weekends. I think obviously with it being a uni that works like five days a week. You would obviously hear people coming onto campus and stuff um, during the week, so it would feel like there's like a lot of people living there. But like at weekends, it was honestly so quiet. Like it, I remember just me and my friends, even when we just walk around the campus at, at the weekend just to get out of the flat, it would just feel like no one else lived there. It was really, really weird. Um, so yeah, <laughs> is that the kitchen was really small for the amount of people. Um, as I just said, there was 12 of us living in there anyway, so we knew it was gonna be a squeeze, but we didn't really have a proper table. We had like two kind of circular tables that you used to get in like sort of primary school. Um, which you could probably fit about five people around like maximum um, and then we didn't even have a sofa either so that like the seating was so limited um, I mean as I said we were quite fortunate in the sense that we all kind of worked on different schedules so as I said there's probably about four people in my flat who I never really saw anyway but like if like the sort of main eight of us were in there it was quite a squeeze to have dinner all at the same time um, but as I said you just kind of get used to it you work around it um, yeah we definitely had enough like appliances because we had like do we have three ovens? No, we had two ovens and like three sets of like four hobs. So we definitely had enough space to like cook and stuff. But like just generally sitting down and like if we wanted to do a movie night, it was just really annoying because we had like, you know, sort of in school and like sick from we have those like soft blue chairs. We had like, t I think two or three of them as our like sofa, which was really uncomfortable. Um, but yeah, I remember when we watched Eurovision actually, like we, I think we borrowed chairs from like people's rooms and stuff just to fit us all in the kitchen. But as I said, it was a squeeze to get us all around the little table that we had, but like, not everything's perfect um and then the last con is the single bed as i said um 
if you wanted people to stay over or whatever, it was a bit of an issue. Like, I didn't have that many visitors or anything like that, so <laughs> that wasn't much of an issue for me. But I know people had, like, boyfriends or girlfriends or whatever. It was a bit annoying. And also, as I said, the room was so big, you definitely could have fitted a double bed in there, but for whatever reason, there wasn't. And it was quite an uncomfortable bed. I had two mattress toppers on my bed because it was just so old and, like, gross. <laughs> Talk about off-campus um, accommodation. So I lived in Green Park for my off-campus accommodation. I kind of lived there twice in my second year like when I first did second year I lived in like a, a 2 duo flat um sort of at the top of the um uh, C block but um yeah as it, so I lived there and then when I was back in halls I lived in the halls and C block as well um so yeah this accommodation had it was an ensuite again so um, yeah, really nice, really modern. And then this time there were seven people in my flat, which was definitely a lot nicer when it came to like sort of eating all at the same time and not being all on top of each other in the kitchen and stuff. Uh, again, it was in the city centre, which I really enjoyed, which I'll talk about in a minute. And again, it was really close to another bus stop. It was a bit further away, obviously, where you were in the city centre. Um, so yeah, when, if you're at Green Park, you kind of turn right and then go walk towards where the spoon is, and it's literally right there. Um, so yeah, and it's like the second bus stop after the um, bus shelter. Bus bus shelter um coach station there we go so <laughs> you're basically always guaranteed to get a seat so pros of green park as being it was so much more modern as i said um lakeside is quite an old set of accommodation but green park was only built in like 2016 so like so much more up to date like the walls were all nice and white you didn't have horrible blue carpet like it was basically all kind of like what's that stuff called it's called like lino um, it's basically when you get like a sheet of like plasticky looking <laughs> um, tiles, whatever. Um, yeah, so it was really easy to keep clean and stuff. Um, the next one, much better bathroom, as I said, because it was modern. Uh, I actually had normal shower, which you could adjust the temperature and like how, like the speed of your shower and stuff, which was so much nicer. Um, and I had a much bigger mirror in there as well. Wall bed in those rooms. So even when I was in both the like studio flat and in my halls room, I had a um, like small double. So it wasn't like a, your standard double bed, but like it was definitely bigger than a single bed. Um, so <laughs> next thing, it was good for nights out because it was close to the centre of town. Obviously, being in centre of Bath, you can get to clubs and stuff quicker because at Bath Spa, you don't really have a club on campus or anything like that. You have the SU, but it's more of like a pub kind of vibe. Um, yeah, as I said, if you live at Green Park, like you don't have to worry about getting buses at like 2 a.m. or whatever back to campus. Um, you can go out as late as you want to. It's really, it's really easy to get back. I and mean, I feel like Bath is a very safe city as well. Like I have walked home on my own from nights out before. Like I know you shouldn't really do that, but I've never felt like in danger or anything whilst I've been on a night out in Bath. So yeah, I think that's really nice because obviously it's a very studenty city. So yeah, a much comfier bed. <laughs> Why is this all related to the bed? Um, but yeah, because obviously it was a newer accommodation, the beds were definitely much probably within the past 10 years. <laughs> um, so yeah, the bed was much more comfy. I didn't actually have a mattress topper on either of my beds in Green Park because I didn't really need one. I know some of my friends did, but I didn't really feel the need to. This one, the kitchen was so much bigger, which I think, which obviously sounds weird because I lived with 12 people in my first flat, in my first halls on campus compared to living with seven in Green Park. But yeah, like the actual kind of kitchen was a bit like a galley kitchen. So you walked in, there was like one set of cupboards, there was two fridges between um, obviously the seven of us, which was much better. Whereas in, I forgot to talk about this actually, but in um, the on-campus on -campus accommodation, there was like, there was basically two fridges, but they were kind of like, the whole thing was a fridge, it wasn't like split in half. So there was two of them between all of us, so we basically got a shelf each. Um, and then again, there was like two freezers, again, they were all freezers like that. Um, which we had a drawer and again it was kind of similar in Green Park but where there was only seven of us um, we definitely had a lot more room to kind of move stuff about and like with people who didn't have as much storage people would be like oh yeah just like use my shelf or whatever um, <laughs> I kind of claimed the vegetable drawer and my own shelf in the fridge because I had the most veg so yeah but like I hope people didn't really mind <laughs> um, Park Kitchen you had sort of your kitchen there was only one sink, but we only really needed one sink. There was, there was like, sometimes when maybe we could have had two, but because there was seven of us, it was quite easy to manage. Um, and then the actual dining area was so much nicer. Like, we had a proper, like, long um, table, which could probably fit about ten of us around it. Like, we had, like, when we had pre's and stuff, like, we could definitely fit way more people in that kitchen than the previous kitchen I lived in. Uh, there was also a really nice big kind of corner sofa in there as well, which, again, was really nice. I mean, you didn't want to, like, sit on, like, horrible plastic chairs, but you just wanted to, like, chill in the kitchen with your friends. Again, you could sit probably about six or eight people around that um, sofa. 
so yeah um i have done i've done a room tour for both my um first year room and my second year room i don't think i filmed the kitchens i might film the kitchen of the first year one but i can't quite remember um but yeah if i've got any photos i'll try and insert them one is the laundry room was a lot closer um so with being in off campus and on campus accommodation we we use circuit laundry like laundry rooms i think most you need to use them um so on campus like we had to walk quite a fair distance to get to the um laundry room which was basically you had to walk past the bus stop so yes every time you want to do your washing you had to walk past like all these crowds of people up like, with your big washing bag <laughs> but um in green park it's not like that at all because the well in my block anyway the laundry room was like at the bottom of my block basically so i had to go down like some stairs and that was it um so yeah that was definitely a lot nicer rather than like trudging through the rain and stuff to get to your laundry um so now i'm going to go on to cons then which was really probably annoying about my room was that like, it was so much smaller like obviously i said before with my on-campus accommodation i had like such a big like space like actual floor space i had so much more room to move about and you could fit your friends in quite easily and stuff but literally green park if you've seen my room tour you'll know but um you basically walked in your ensuite was like one side of you then you walked down a little bit more then it was like your bed then your desk was here and then there's like your window and like there's a bit of room at, at the bottom of the bed towards your window but that was about it <laughs> so yeah fitting multiple people in there at the same time was not easy um hence why i literally just stayed in the kitchen most of the time um so yeah that was kind of annoying but as i said i was only really in there anyway so it was fine <laughs> the next con is that this might be a pro for some people but like i don't know why but green park was absolutely boiling like it was just like i don't know why like even in the winter i was sleeping in like summer pajamas and like i've rarely put heating on in halls um <laughs> because like i mean you never paid extra for it anyway because like like with halls like all your bill stuff are usually included um but yeah i don't know what way it was with i think because where my room was i was at the end of the corridor anyway and like i was sandwiched between two different floors so i got the heat from the person below me and the heat from the person above me it just like yeah it was very warm in there but you could just get used to it and then the other side of me was basically next door's kitchen so um i definitely noticed in the evenings it was really warm like when people were cooking and stuff but yeah next con is that there was a lot more noise i think obviously being in central bath like you kind of you could see buses going past um you could hear like because basically my block back on back onto like Weatherspoons and like another pub called the brew house so you could definitely hear um <laughs> people singing in the pub and stuff and like obviously on student nights on tuesdays and thursdays it was a lot more noisy with like people smoking below my room and stuff um and then like in the last semester as well we definitely had a lot of problems with the people living above us just playing music like really loudly so yeah that was definitely more annoying about this um year's halls another con i've put less kitchen facilities as i said because there's only seven of us and one oven um so again if we were all cooking at the same time cooking different things it's a bit of a struggle like we have to wait your turn to get your food in the oven and stuff but it's kind of i guess it kind of makes sense that there's only like half the amount of people and then we had like we had like one set of four hobs and then there was like another like mini electric hob next to which had two kind of like circles on it um so yeah like there was times when you were like kind of crossing over each other and stuff but i think you just kind of expect got to expect that of halls <laughs> and the next one is that the view wasn't that great um obviously living in central bath again it really depended where you lived in green park like some people who lived like near the top looking towards the actual green park got a really pretty view whereas me i basically backed onto two pubs and the smoking area <laughs> so there wasn't that much really to look at but um yeah i didn't really spend that much time in my room anyway so it wasn't a huge issue obviously sometimes it might have been nice like wake up in the morning to like see something pretty but yeah you just get used to it next kind of you had to there was more kind of tapping of your student card to get into your building so when i was on campus in sydney i think we tapped once to get into the building and then you could walk up the stairs and then you didn't have to tap in to get into your, like, your actual corridor and then you had to tap into your kitchen and into your bedroom whereas in green park you had to tap to get into the reception area then tap to get into your block tap to get into your flat and then tap to get into your room and then the kitchen was like open to everyone so yeah that was kind of annoying again to get into like um the laundry room you had to like tap your student card as well so i would definitely won't miss that about halls like obviously this year i'm living in a house so i'll obviously have my house keys and stuff um but yeah like again it's kind of i know some halls still have like traditional keys but with basketball most halls are like powered by your student card so keep that safe definitely and the last con is a really weird one the laundry room was more expensive at green park and it had only one laundry room of like about eight washing machines and tumble dryers for the whole of green park 
so yeah green park there i think there's about 200 students that lived there um and there was only one laundry room with about eight washing machines and eight tumble dryers so you can imagine that got super busy um whereas at on my on campus halls anyway there was basically one laundry room at the bottom of campus for with lakeside which i never really noticed getting busy like them i mean i think you've got to know like when you're going to halls i'd say just don't do your washing on weekends because like that's when everyone does it um but yeah there was another um laundry room at the top of campus which is where i used to go because i didn't realize there was another one near me um but the one at the top of campus was there was like loads of washing machines in there because also there was more uh people living in gardens um but yeah, that was definitely the annoying thing about Green Park was the lack of like laundry facilities. <laughs> now I'm going to move on to questions. So I did ask on Instagram if anyone had any questions about halls or anything, about my experience, like any advice they wanted. So I'm going to get started. So the first one is, what is your funniest night out story? Right, there have been quite a few, won't I? <laughs> um, but I think there's one that definitely comes to mind from my first year. So it was the first time we all went to Slam. Slam is like an R&B kind of hip hop night at a club called Second Bridge on a Thursday. Um, and actually basketball students get in there cheaper than uni or students. I've never known why, but that's just the way. So we thought, okay, we'll go there. Obviously we drank, we all drank quite a lot of pre-drinks, um, including one of my friends. I hope he doesn't mind me telling this, but basically he used to get like a jug, like a, like a plastic jug and just put everyone's alcohol into it. And you would just drink that as his pre sometimes. So basically the week the week before I think we we started praying but didn't go out or like some people went out but so he basically had this jug in the fridge for about a week of just loads of different alcohol. So he took that out again and drank all of that, which obviously I would not recommend, please don't do that, because it's just gross as you'll find out. Um so yeah, we all went off into town. Um <laughs> also another thing I love about on campus halls is the bus journeys into your nights out are just like hilarious everyone is like singing on the bus and like you just talk to random people like that is one of my favorite things about living on campus um anyway so we all got on the bus we were just like laughing like chatting to random people on the bus we didn't know um yeah so we got to bridge me and my friend went in first i think uh, me and eve <laughs> so we went in first um it wasn't really our kind of thing like when i go on a night out i like cheesy like chart music that's kind of my thing i'm not really into like hip-hop and stuff um, yeah, we went in <laughs> to um, this club. Like, there was a lot of smoke machines, like flashing lights. Again, I'm not a massive fan of that. So we didn't really last that long. But um, yeah, so we went in first, and then my other friends came in a bit later, just because they were kind of stumbling behind us a bit drunk. <coughs> and um, so we lost a few of them in the club because Second Bridge is quite big. Like, there's a lot of different rooms. Like, the toilets like all over the place. I need to take a drink after. We get in this club and then we lose two of our friends we're like where on earth have they gone like we knew they came in um so we started dancing and stuff then like me and my friend decided that it just wasn't really for us we weren't really feeling it so we went to a different club called pose or Pona ponana they do basically throwback thursdays which is like your like 90s and your noughties hits so me and eve went there instead and then we would text them obviously throughout the night just like hoping they were safe and stuff and um we found out that one of our friends got kicked out because he was like so drunk um of like slam um but anyway me and eve stayed out late and the other they all went back before us and um me and eve got the bus home and like i remember eve said oh i really smells at mcdonald's i'm like no i really think they're like sick and then obviously the next day you sit in your hall was like talking about what happened from the night before and basically the person that got kicked out <laughs> he actually threw up on the bus like the bus we got before like the bus they got before we got on <laughs> so we were basically on the bus that he'd just been sick on oh, they obviously had cleaned it up but you could still smell it like really badly but yeah that is definitely my funniest night out story is i'm an anxious person will this affect me making friends um honestly i really don't think it will um a lot of people suffer from anxiety and stuff and i feel like as long as you just are yourself and you make the effort to talk to people um you will find your people it might not be in the first week or the first month but just give it time like you might not be best friends with everyone in your flat which is fine but like you'll make friends on your course and stuff as i said just be open to speaking to everyone and just remember everyone is super duper nervous like even when i went back in tours in my second year i was still like really nervous to living with new people it was a very natural thing to be nervous about so yeah as i would just say try your hardest um don't stay in your bedroom the whole time try and stay in the kitchen as much as possible in the first few weeks and yeah you'll find people <laughs> is the workload bad in first year so obviously it's more related to uni as a whole but in all honesty i didn't find it that bad at all um i think compared to a levels obviously most people have just come from the a levels so you kind of expect it to be like really heavy going but 
is really not obviously with most unis you just got to pass the first year to stay on your course um so i think they do make the work quite easy in that sense it's obviously different to a levels because a levels are all kind of exam based whereas uni work isn't it's usually a mixture of coursework and exams or like depending on what your course is um so yeah i think i had i think i had one or two exams in my first year when i was doing psychology which really weren't that hard as long as you'd been to your lectures and your seminars that like you could kind of get the general gist of what's going to be on the exam so yeah i really would not worry about workload too much at all um yeah is halls bad in terms of one night stands strangers in the flat etc in all honesty in my experience i really don't think it was that bad at all um my university is very well known for being like predominantly girls um which obviously doesn't always affect things like that but um yeah so i think there's about 60 percent girls or something at bar spa um so in my first year flat there was eight girls and four boys two of the boys had like girlfriends from their hometowns who i think they're still with now um so yeah there was only two people really in relationships another guy didn't really go out that much and then the other guy who i'm like still friends with now um yeah like they never really did any of that kind of thing bringing people home and stuff um yeah obviously everyone is entitled to what they want to do like as long as you're safe and consensual it's absolutely fine but yeah none of the girls really brought anyone back home um or anything like that like you probably will hear people having sex i won't lie like in my first week of freshers i definitely heard people but like yeah it's just part of it really um just get earplugs that really bothers you but <laughs> yeah and then obviously in second year um we were kind of friends like obviously i was friends with people in my flat and then people in the flat next door um Again, in my flat, there was three boys, uh, four girls. Um, so again, there was like, like they, people brought a few people back. But I, was, I thought it'd be a lot worse. Like I remember my brother saying to me, oh, boys are like, they're on heat when they were in freshers week. I was like, brilliant. But yeah, as I said, it really wasn't that bad in terms of people bringing like strangers home and stuff. And as long as they're like safe and consensual and stuff, like I really don't see a big issue in it now i'm going to go on to general advice so the first one is be yourself i have just said this but like i think if you want to be your friend if you want to make like genuine friends just be yourself from the beginning obviously everyone's a bit not really themselves in the first week anyway just because it's such a weird environment to get used to but i just say just be friendly be open just like say what you actually like and just like, like don't just go along with things just to make friends like that like, you won't find genuine pe friends that way um yeah the next thing was friends will change over time um as i said in your first couple of weeks especially you'll be literally you'll think you have like this massive group of friends but like people do disperse like once you find who likes what you actually like and stuff so yeah as i said first few weeks are like really nice because everyone's really friendly but like people do disperse into little groups which is like absolutely fine um the next one is never feel pressure to drink or do drugs um i can honestly say i've never felt pressure to do any of these things i do drink but i don't take drugs or anything like that um but yeah, I've never really felt the pressure to, obviously. People will encourage you to get involved in pre-drinks and, like, games and stuff. But, like, if you really don't want to drink, don't. Like, as I know people who do drink at uni and people who don't drink at uni. And, like, no one's... I've never noticed anyone being treated differently because of that. And if people are pressuring you to do that, then don't hang out with those people. It's not worth it. <laughs> Next one is don't bring loads of clothes. Now, this is coming from me, who is always buying and bringing loads of clothes. But with uni you only really need i'd say bring clothes you're really comfy in for lectures and stuff obviously like your jeans and your jumpers and stuff because like you're predominantly there in the winter months anyway um it's like there's not really a strict dress code or anything you can wear whatever you want to uni um and with bath bar as well like the night out kind of clothing is so casual it's mainly just crop tops and jeans or crop tops and skirts so you don't need to bring really fancy dresses or anything like that um obviously this could depend on what uni you're going to but yeah i would just say you don't need to bring your whole wardrobe just bring bring clothes you like really like you know you wear a lot um yeah it would just save space and stuff because i forgot to say as well in my off campus accommodation at green park the wardrobe was like significantly smaller so i did struggle with fitting all my clothes in it but yeah bring uh the next one is don't bring fancy shoes again in bath especially like no one really wears heels and nights out um i would say just bring bring a pair of boots bring some trainers like if you wear those things like um yeah so most student clubs your shoes will get trashed anyway so literally my night out shoes are like a pair of fake converse and primark that's literally what i wear on a night out because i just know if they get trashed i can clean them or i just get rid of them um again bring sliders and slippers in my first year flat especially because i think where there were so many of us living in it the floor just got really sticky and gross um so yeah i'll just say especially in halls just bring a pair of uh shoes that really slip on just so your feet don't get really dirty and disgusting 
I forgot to say as well, in both halls I did have cleaners, so they would basically clean the surfaces like every couple of weeks, like disinfect them and like clean the floors and they would empty bins. Um, in my on-campus accommodation, the bins, we had to empty the bins ourselves, but obviously the cleaners came in every couple of weeks and did them as well. Whereas at Green Park, we had people do the bins every like th two or three days. Um, so yeah, that does help with cleanliness a little bit. They up for your freshers week and then budget off then. I would say I'm going to do a money like video coming soon, but I would say with like freshers and stuff, don't worry about budgeting or being really strict on money. Like it's a weird week. You're not going to be cooking like um, really nice meals. You'll probably be going out for meals or spending a lot on drinks. As I said, just save the money you can this summer, like if you have a job or whatever. Um, yeah, and then also just get into your budgeting after freshers week. First couple of weeks, stay in the kitchen as much as possible, keep your door open, etc. So at my uni, the doors were super duper heavy, like it was really hard to keep them open unless you literally wedged your chair in the middle of it. But yeah, as I said, just stay in the kitchen, like go in there for all your meals and just chat to people. Um, and like if you're in group chats, try and like get into like ki other p kitchens parties and stuff like that if you can. Um, yeah, so you'll just meet a lot of people that way. Just don't bring a whole load of new stuff to your room. So I have had questions on like, how do I decorate my room and stuff? I would honestly say, obviously it is really nice buying like new things to your room, it's really exciting, but if you literally bring like a whole new bedroom to uni, it won't feel like yours. Um, so I'd say bring like some of your favorite cushions. Like I'd have, I did buy these for uni, but I know I'd like use them at home as well. Um, yeah, because basically my bed at uni was like this both years, so the bed was basically up against the wall. And this is really nice to basically make a makeshift sofa. So these are actually from Dunnell Mill. You can get them in loads of different colours. So I got three of them, they're about 20 quid each. But honestly, they, they are so good. If you're watching a film in your room with friends and you want to like lean up against the wall, honestly, they're so comfy. And I still obviously use them now when I watch Netflix and stuff on my own. Um, so yeah, I would really recommend getting big cushions like this. And it, I think my friend Anne, but she had like a massive one. I can't remember where it's from, but it was basically across, it was like, it was shorter but it was like one big kind of red cushion that just went across the whole wall like that again really good and really comfortable um so yeah i'd really recommend getting big cushions like this to make your room cozy um bring your old blankets from home as well um bring photos um you can in both halls you could there was basically a pin board i think most unis have this like you can have a pin board where you can stick your photos into and stuff um, you're not really allowed to use like blue tack and obviously nails in the walls because obviously you're renting. Um, so yeah, I'd just say try and bring stuff that you can pin onto a wall, whether it be photos or tickets from things or posters. Um, you can usually get a lot of posters from Freshers Fair. Um, yeah, so I would just say, as I said, it is nice to get new things, but don't bring a whole room worth of new stuff because it won't feel homely. Um, so yeah, I hope that helps with that question. I think that is that this video done i have been filming for about half an hour so i'll try and cut it down and stuff but yeah i hope this video was helpful um please let me know if you've got any other questions about halls or living in bath because i'm quite an expert on both those things i feel like um so yeah please like and subscribe if you like this video thank you if you watched the whole way through good luck if you're going to university soon it'll be fine um if and if you don't like your halls always go to student services they'll probably be able to move you to different halls i know people that move to different halls and stuff throughout the years um so yeah anyway as I said, good luck, uh, be yourself, um, yeah, and I hope you have the best time because halls both years have been really fun for me personally, so yeah. Uh, I will see you soon. Bye!